Hello world, welcome back to another Flask slash Flask Socket IO slash Discord Discord clone <laughs> with that with me using Flask and Socket uh, Flask Socket IO. Well, that's a long intro. So basically, this is the last video we're going to do on Flask and Flask Socket IO. As you can see, I'm in a room right now. Apparently, the code automatically generated is called J I Y X M R D. And now you can see the status is working. So if I refresh the page, you can see the status does work. And then if I log out, now you can see it doesn't work. But if I log back in, uh, just copy the room. It's nothing like Discord, and now you can see well it's back online. So that's basically is what I've been doing in the last video. I advanced it a little bit, so now you can see it's a scroll, so it doesn't not take an infinite list. That's basically it. So welcome, well, um, that's the username is called Well, actually, by the way. So now what we need to do is let me make sure I have my JavaScript file on. And let's go to Rome again. There's still some bug, as you can see here. Well, it's supposed to be online, so you need to... I don't know why sometimes that happens. There's some bug. I don't know why this happens. But I try my best to implement this. This is the hardest feature to get users working. It still doesn't work. Like when you join a server, it doesn't automatically shows up here for some reason. Um, but that's basically um, our try. So for final for our final episode, we're gonna implement a DM, so direct message. So we can say this. So we are going to say. Let's go create a new route, and then let's call this DM. Oops, should make it bigger. All right, so we're gonna create direct message function. So let's. Give the DM a definition. So I'm taking get and post, and then if request dot message equals equals to post, and pass for now. Otherwise, return render template DM dot h TML. Let's go and create that template. I just realized I have a interview with Microsoft today. Not the job kind of interview, but more like podcast-ish. So like asking some question interview. How do you copy this file? Wait, what? Okay, so extend layout dot HTML block title and block uh, direct message slash private message and block main and block here so in here we're gonna say all message uh, send a message And I'm gonna say all messages received. I'm gonna show a list there. And um, yeah, that's basically what I'm gonna do.
So this is gonna have a, another. So let me just make a simple UL for now. So let me just give a messages. All right. So now let me go ahead and link this. Create. Let's call this private. Private dot Yes, I think we can. Um, let me go ahead and open up the messages HTML. Uh, let's see. Let's go get the form. Put it here. Form, post, action, gonna say slash dm, and then we're gonna say now is gonna say, we're gonna say send a dm to your friend, and then gonna ask for username first. So input type. So we're only gonna let them send one message at once. So it's gonna be text, and then let's just give a label for that as well. Label. I'm gonna say, and then we're gonna give it a placeholder here. Placeholder is message, and then input type text. ID is text. ID is username. And we'll have a link script source slash static slash private dot js. So you're gonna have a different way to handle private, but it's gonna be really similar. Um, name uh, username. Um, I don't need this, just need ID. All right, great. Now what we need to do is, let's go ahead and implement the route, or have the route set up. Let's go ahead and start our app. Go ahead and add at login required here. And then in either one, if I just go DM, yeah. So you can see, send a message to your friend. I can just say hi. Okay, so now what we will say is we will go ahead and implement this JavaScript function. Actually, we don't even get post at all. We don't even get post at all. It's, I realize it's not a form. We really need to do is the socket I/O thing. So what we will say in here is for message and messages. And for so I'm gonna create a table that's gonna ends up really look like this. Really look like the table. Really look like the oh whoops my YouTube studio this is good. Uh, going to real ends up look like this table a lot. The ROM the actual store message. Gonna make a little modification to that. And then messages here. We're in Rome, we're just gonna uh, replace it using user hyphen ID to show it's private DM or something like this. 
So let's go ahead and implement our private JS. Let's open our message.js so we can have a thing to look at. I made a lot of changes. I'm gonna try to document my code after this so you will be able to know what what the hell I'm doing. Like all these fetch APIs and all these promises, you know. And let's go ahead and say DM. Let's give you a ID. Let's call you message form. Set the message. And then here, where we're going to say, let's go ahead and connect the socket. Let's go ahead and get an ID. Get an ID for you for this button. The end. The end button. Just caught this. Looks pretty good. And then we can say socket dot on connect. What does it take? Oh yeah, the arrow function thing. Um gonna say I'm gonna say var button equals to document dot get element <clears throat> element element by ID you uh DM button not button 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 not bottom and then now I can say button dot unclick. Uh, what do we have here? Okay, it's an arrow function. Oops. Wait. Something like this? No, wait, yeah. Equals on here first. Alright, callback a function. Um, now we can say socket dot emit immediately. It's like um, we can say dm here, and then gonna provide who does he want to dm to? So username is equals to. Document dot no, this is not in this message. Username, and then you can say another DM such as we also need message itself. Whoops, it's supposed to be document dot get element by ID username message equals document actually we also need whoa 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 um uh, the value the value as well and then we're gonna say not this i don't what the hell i didn't mean any of these okay let's just create our username equals equals document dot oh god no this I don't know why I keep it needs this document dot get element by D username dot value not node value just value var message equals to document dot get element by ID message dot value username is username pass message is message all right are cleared let's go ahead and now implement our app the pipe when we receive a DM so we're gonna say uh, at socket io dot on dm. I have data here, 
and then what we want to do is we really just first is just insert into the database to users insert into uh, messages so timestamp we also need to pass a timestamp as well okay so ts equals timestamp this is a timestamp helper function so purpose is just generate a timestamp so to messages uh, where I think you have to see where I'm going to do insert author message room timestamp values author message room timestamp marked and then we're going to say is author a actually data bracket username the store also directly yeah they cannot change your name so I think it's fine for just doing this bracket we're just gonna keep stuff simple Bracket M is a uh, data bracket message. The most important part, I would argue. Room is user bracket. Ooh, this is going to be interesting. Uh, I actually need to pass one more information in here. Is whoever is sending this. So how can I do that? We're gonna provide a hidden input type, I guess. So we're gonna say here, just hidden input type, just hidden, uh, D equals to sander, and then value going to be uh, user. So now let's go ahead and pass the two values in here. So we're going to say messages equals to c dot execute select star from messages where room equals to room. Which in this case, room just gonna equals to user bracket session dot get user ID here. Um, so yeah, we'll store user ID. So result that's mean. And single quoted. Whoops. Right. And quotation mark here. Looks good. All right. And pass messages here. And This uh, here. Username. Equals to okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and get the username first. So username we'll see that execute select star from message uh users where user ID equals UID UID
fetch all. Username. Username here. Okay. Looks pretty dope. Let's just wait this username air to go over. Wait that. Uh, okay, so now let's go ahead and do here. So we're also gonna pass in author equals to. So we're gonna say var author equals document dot get element element by ID. Uh, sender dot value and then let's put Alistair here all right that's pretty good okay so now instead of this it's just gonna say author uh, this is gonna be user hyphen <sighs> So it's gonna be something da data data. So um okay, well we need to get the user ID now. So user ID equals to c dot execute select star from users where you uh username equals you uh name and then we can say name is data bracket user name right that's the data passed here right yeah okay so then in here you can just say let's pass user id in here a new line just to make it readable and then the last thing you provide is t for timestamp, see uh, contact comment, and then we're also gonna say emit and say broadcast private message, bra broadcast DM, and then we will provide all this value back. Let's so write data. So uh, let's go ahead and provide the stuff back. So author uh, receiver, we call receiver. So who get this DM? Um, receiver gonna be uh, receiver going to be this. Suppose we pass. Do we pass username here? Why? We passed username. And then, uh, yes, we passed username. Receiver. Because data bracket username. And then, uh, T is timestamp. T is TS. Looks good. Looks good. Let's go and now implement broadcast DM. Socket dot on broadcast DM. So we want to say her. Messages equals document. Uh, ID. 
the messages. Mm. And then we can also say is now we got the data. So we could possibly say uh, you know what for now you're just gonna say console.log data. So if this works, then this will be end for this video. Because it works, so all the formatting, um, feel free feel free to do it on your own. But once the private message is working, now our Discord clone is basically done. So let's go with a sec. Alright, send a DM to your friends. Okay, the, and we'll see the console. Whoops. I already forgot this thing already. I don't want to console the law for every user, so let's check. If data bracket um, receiver equals equals to. This is the current user's username. Um, then we'll go ahead and this. I will go ahead and like this. And done. Alright, let's go ahead and check the static message for both of you. I keep loading it into cache, I think. Oh, okay. Well, I mean, it's not messaging. It's called private. Private.js. Let's go and get refreshed. Okay, looks good. So let's go back to DM page. And then let me make sure all the resources available. Check, see if sources is on. So reviewing source panel. Okay, looks good. All right, I'm getting the console ready. All right, a minute of truth. <coughs> Alright, so this person name should be called Well, I think. And then we'll send hi. Okay, not work. I mean, well, that's just great, isn't it? Reviewing the source panel. Let me just make sure this site is also working. Yep, it is. Do we have a sander value? Well, yeah, we do, and everything looks good. looks fantastically great. Whoops. Uh, let's say uh, let's go ahead and add a comment here. Let's go ahead and say print out the entire data. Actually, we don't have to. Let me just see if if it's a the database. Nope, nope, nope. Database don't have that messages. Apparently. Oh, for some reason. Private. 
Oh, this is now. Oh. Yeah, doesn't it? Oh, why this? Why are you treat me like this? Come on, it's just like the, literally the last thing. I just won't get it to work. Oh. Doesn't work. It doesn't show the message here. For some reason. Let me just try to refresh the page and try again. We lost our connection. No. Alright. So, well. Hi. Okay. This should be the. Okay, that means something wrong with private. The JS is not that. Okay, so a few issue is it called the unbutton? It is so. Let's just cause it a lot clicked. I'm re I, don't re I really don't want debug for now. I mean, I have a Microsoft thing, so. Private. Okay. Let's go back to DM. Let's take a look of source. Pretty sure it keeps storing cash for some reason. The one to store in cash. Still doesn't work. Good. Okay, let's see. I don't know what this work but I mean, here they're just say comes with a lock high. Okay, 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 okay. Let me kill the server really quick. Sometimes it's because the thing is not working. Properly for some reason. Okay, I really hope it work. I really hope I I will try my best to figure out why it doesn't work. But just in case I didn't figure it out, do want to create another video on this? It's oh my god, it's so complicated. <sighs> and still, come on, just. Just for once, just don't store in cash. <sighs> oh my god. Are you serious? Okay. How to not store in cash? How to remove all cash? Remove cash per a tab. Oh, okay. Empty the cache and hard reload. Let's take a look now. This work. Yep, now it works. Okay, I don't need you anymore. So I just want to make sure it works. Okay, it does say clicked. Uh, that means good. So, if, so just say dev send the message. 
San 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 What? Okay, does this click? But it didn't get inserted. Just come on. I just can't. Oh, uh, let's just print out high here. Let's try again. Go ahead, do a refresh. So if I doesn't get it to work, then well, but just didn't feel like to debug today. Okay, well, I'll take a look. Let's just say dev hi. Did I see a uh, hi here? Did I see a uh, hi here? Mm. Okay, well. Okay, I need to take. See that execute user data. Yeah, everything looks great. I don't know why this is not working, guys. I don't really know. I mean, everything looks good to me. I still cannot figure out why this doesn't get inserted. You see, it's clicked, but it never passed it to the Python thing. The Py the Flask, it never passed it to the backend. Oh, seriously? Good, tell me a bunch of error I didn't even know. Okay. It says T unsupported. Where are you? Okay. Okay. It literally tells me. Nope. You are supposed to be TS. Okay. Let's wait a second. Refresh. If that solved the error, like actually, I really don't know what to say. Debugger is active. I don't even use the debugger because the debugger screen doesn't show up. When are you dealing with these kind of stuff? All right, let's try again. Okay, let's make our terminal bigger so you can see. All right, let's type dev here and hi. Send a message. Clicked. Nope, doesn't get sent though. Okay. Uh. Database is locked. All right, all right, all right, no worries. Send message again. Hi. Six connected. Looks good. Inserted. No console though, no console message. For some reason. I'm just gonna empty out the cache. Okay. I didn't see any JavaScript error. It does get inserted this time. Good. It's 
So something should be wrong with JavaScript. Let me broadcast a DM. Just console.log. DM received. Plus, this is my main browser. I don't know why I did that. I shouldn't have done that. Uh, let's go get to here. Okay, I cannot wait. Oh, where's that incognito? I'm just gonna send a message to myself. So, I'm gonna send a message to well. Slash. Get a console error. Okay, let's see terminal. Database locked. That's an oh issue. Broadcast DM is an issue now. Yes. Author. Receiver. Timestamp. I mean, everything looks good. Oh. Oh my god. Seriously? Come on. It's going to take even that amount of time to read. But I mean, it should broadcast to it anyway. I'm gonna send DM to myself. So I'm gonna say, well, hi. <laughs> 